We're a nonprofit in Grayson County, Kentucky, and we serve lower income families. Our uh, primary program is a food program where we distribute uh, USDA commodities and donate it and purchase food uh, to approximately over 800 families a month. My first project with the Colonels is our refrigeration, uh, which as a nonprofit food pantry, we were relying on just household units. Uh, so writing a grant that first year was a little intimidating, but it was so simple and um, everybody was so helpful that we uh, took on a new project real quick. I had the opportunity to apply for many grants, and so the Honorable Order of Kentucky's grant, uh, as you look at others, was pretty simple. When I ran across a couple of things that I wanted some clarity on, so I called the office in Louisville and they pretty well gave me some clarity as to what I was looking at. I would say I think my favorite part of the Kentucky Colonel's application is that they actually have a colonel come and meet with you. I guess I'm fortunate that the trustee for that area lives in the adjoining county of Muhlenberg and we done had a good rela working relationship over the years and she always points out, you know Charles, you know there's a lot of people applying for these grants so you're gonna have to get in there and fight just like the rest of them and that's what we have done. The conversation we were able to have with the trustee who came to meet with us was very open. Um, they, um, you know, asked us really pointed questions about how the funds would be used. Um, sometimes we've asked for funding for more than one item, and so they were very careful about asking, what's your priority? You know, what is gonna make the biggest difference in the community? I, th I think the most fun that I had recently was the colonels that came to my office and volunteered for me on the annual day of service, and it was wonderful. They were surprised at the impact that their giving was making. They got to see firsthand how the commercial refrigeration changed everything for us, how the new shelves enabled us to reorganize so we can have a more permanent classroom. I think when they see it, it becomes so real and it was just kind of thrilling to watch them enjoy working for us in an environment that they had helped provide. 